good morning. Welcome to our 2018 UARC Facebook live tour of Buchanan Droke Hall. My name is Josiah Brock. I am a junior here at the University of Arkansas. I'm from Russellville and I'm studying communication. I want to go to law school. I'm um, filming today is Courtney. Courtney, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Good morning. My name is Courtney. Um, I'm also a student here at the U of A. I will be a sophomore this year, nursing major. And I'm going to be behind the camera today, so if y'all have any questions, just let us know and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you, Courtney. So, Buchanan Droke is a conveniently located hall. It's located in the center of campus. We've got Stadium Drive right over here, um, where you can find the football stadium, as well as the Hyper, which is basically the athletic activities um, location. There's a fitness center and a pool, things like that. Um, and then the sister hall of Buchanan Droke is actually Gladson Ripley right behind us. Together, um, students and staff kind of like to refer to them as Badger, BD, and GR. Um, one fun fact about Buchanan Droke is that it actually used to be two halls, um, Buchanan Hall and then Droke Hall. Um, Buchanan was the first president of the university and then Droke was a former dean of Fulbright College um, and then they combined to become Buchanan Droke. Uh, we've also got Humphreys and Yoakum right up here. Um, two popular residence halls as well. And we're just a short walk away from the Bruff Dining Hall, as well as Starbucks and Slim Chickens, Rocket Taco, Where the Wild Greens Are. All of the founders dining options are close as well. Um, so we can go ahead and go inside and take a look at the front desk. Kind of on a hill here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in a little bit in the middle of the hill here at the university. Um, which is kind of nice because you're not too far away from basically anything you would need. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the front desk. Um, here's the front desk of Buchanan Droke. Here's Adam. He's our hall admin. Hello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is where all your mail will come and things like that. Um, you'll actually receive an email if you receive a package. And you're also assigned a mailbox here. Um, and we can look at that in a little bit. Um, one thing for security here at Buchanan Droke is you'll always use your fob to unlock these doors to get inside. Little lobby area for yeah. you guys. These couches are just for students to hang out. It's a good study space or just to meet up with your friends and things like that. So we can go ahead and take a look in the actual hall. If you're tuning in too, feel free to ask us any questions. We're happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. So here's some mailboxes. Um, this is where letters and things will be put, put in. You'll just be assigned a, a mailbox with instructions on how to open it here in the wall. And they'll send you an email with your mailbox and your code and it's super simple. We're gonna head downstairs to look at the basement. This is my personal favorite part of the hall. Um, this is where a lot of fun activities happen. We have furniture. Um, and TVs and things like that just to hang out. This is also, also where the laundry room is located, um, which is good to know as incoming freshmen. You'll spend a lot of time there. Also, there is a trash chute here, um, on each floor of this building, um, and there's just a door. It's right here next to the bathroom. Um, you'll just open it up, and there's a dumpster in there you can put your trash in. Trash chute, please use bags. <laughs> We did have a question about measuring once we get in the rooms, and we will measure whatever you guys would like once we get there. Yes. Do we tell them how many people live here? Um, no. I, I, 100 female students live here. It's an all-female dorm, um, and there are 100 students that live here. Here's the kitchen of Buchanan Droke. Um, you're welcome to use it whenever you would like. There's a refrigerator. There's some cooking supplies that you can check out, um, a stove, an oven, ice machine. Um, at a little table, if you'd like to share your food with someone, that's nice. <laughs> so this is a good place to hang out, and like you said, you can get kitchen material and cook whenever you'd like. Do you live here right now? Is that right? I do. I live here right now, actually. My room is just right here, <laughs> so this is kind of my space. I know it pretty well. Um, this is where we house our summer staff over the summer. Um, so I, I have good experience of, of learning how great the community is here. Um, we have a lot of fun. We actually request to live here every summer because we love it so much. <laughs> uh, here is the recycling. Um, anything you could imagine that you need to recycle, 
Buchanan Joke has the option. Um, that's one really cool thing about our residence halls. And then here's the laundry room. So here at the university, you're, you don't have to pay to use laundry machines. Um, you do need to bring your own detergent, but the machines themselves are included in student fees. Um, so you're free to come down here whenever you would like, as long as there's an open machine um, to do your laundry. And one cool service the university has is called Laundry Alert. It's an app you can download, and you can check the status of your load of laundry um, whenever you would like. It will also notify you whenever it's finished. So that's nice, so you don't have to stay down here and wash your laundry. Mm -hmm. You're a Tide Pod guy? I'm a Tide Pod <laughs> guy. I don't, I don't get the, the jug detergent. I don't trust myself to put the right amount in. So the pods <laughs> are super convenient. Here's the basement. Um, like I said, this is where we love to hang out. Um, there's furniture, there's vending machines. We use that table over there to play cards, play board games, things like that. Um, and you'll always find someone watching a movie down here. Uh, it's a great, watch movies down here? Yes, we watch movies down here basically every night. Um, and it's a great way to meet people. This is really where we bond. Um, anytime someone's in this hall, you'll find them down here just hanging out. Do you have any, uh, any movie racks for us? Yes. So the other night we watched Coco, the Disney movie, and I cried like a baby. It was <laughs> awesome. It made me feel things. It was wonderful. I love that movie. I'm here. Here's where we play Uno and poker and things like that. We spend a lot of time. Like I said, this is where you'll find us whenever we're here, not working. You mentioned a werewolf game? Yes. So we also <laughs> found this game called Werewolf, where you're assigned different jobs. Um, so basically, the goal of the werewolf is to evade suspicion. Because at the end of a round, everyone will vote on who they think the werewolf is and choose to eliminate them. And so your goal is to survive. Um, so basically there's a werewolf, um, your job is to avoid suspicion like I said. Uh, there's a minion, his job is to make everyone think that he's the werewolf so that his werewolf partner can be saved. Um, there's villagers who are just trying to find the werewolf, um, things like different jobs like that. It's really fun because you don't know what anyone else is, you just have to rely on what they say. Um, so as you can imagine that can get pretty crazy. Uh, we have a good time, lots of screaming involved in that game. Good game to play, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, here's a, an air hockey table. Um, this is super fun. The first night, actually, I lived here, we had a short little tournament, and I got super lucky and won my first game, but then got demolished in the next game. <laughs> um, but I've been practicing, so I'm sure I'll be better. Um, so this is where we spend a lot of time. We enjoy ourselves down here. Yeah, where, where are you guys from? We have Amelia right now, some other viewers, so just let us know. So... Anything else to show? Uh, I don't think there's anything else down here to show. Okay. We're going to walk down here and take a look at bathrooms and, and a bedroom. Um, let us know if you have any questions. There's also a DVD player. I forgot about that. And a smart TV. This TV is smarter than I am. So you can watch <laughs> Netflix and Hulu and things like that with it. That's super nice. So we're just going to walk down here. We're gonna take a look at the bathrooms first. I'm gonna go ahead and knock before we go in there just to make sure. Got some Arkansas I like, locals. I like how you uh, put the tape on the door. Yes, yeah. so like I said, this is an all female residence hall, but right now um, some of my staff and I live on the basement and we're all males, so we just, <laughs> we made our own edit of the sign. Coming in. Here's what the restroom will look like. You have your showers right here. I would recommend bringing a shower caddy just to keep all of your soaps and things together. Um, I'm a shower shoes guy just for sanitary reasons. <laughs> I want to be safe. Um, so yeah, there's stalls. And these are smaller in the basement than they are yes. in the other floors? How much is the difference? So the, base, the basement restrooms are a little bit smaller than the other floors. Um, upstairs there's actually four showers and four stalls, so it's about double in size. Um, but since there's less people living in the basement, there's less room down here. Awesome. Love it. Now we're going to take a look at a room. So next we're going to take a look at a room. Um, this is what your standard room layout will be. Um, 
behind the door there's a wardrobe, there's another wardrobe here, um, some drawers, as well as the desks and chairs. You are welcome to loft the beds if you would like. You can put in a, a maintenance request at housing.uark.edu slash fix it before July 31st and on a first come first serve basis they'll actually loft your bed for you. Um, so that's kind of nice if you would like that. Mm -hmm. We had one person wanting to know the measurement in between the beds for a carpet or a rug. Okay, yeah, sure. So you are free to move around furniture however you would like. Um, you just cannot take any furniture out. Um, but we'll go ahead and measure in between the beds. Do um, you want this side? Yeah. It's about 89 inches from end of the bed to end of the bed. Should we go this way a little bit, just in case? Yeah, yeah sure. We'll go ahead and measure. We'll go from like the drawer set. The drawer set to the desk. All right. All right. That's about 105 inches. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, Amelia also asked what room we're in right now. I think we're in. Let's check. It is 54054. Zero five four. Yes. Pass this back to you. Thank you. Um, let's be sure that we get a uh, mattress measurement for them. Yeah, That's sure. A very commonly requested one. Um, but now is a great moment to chime in with any questions you have about the measurements in the room. So the mattress is thirty six inches wide, um, which is about three feet. I'll measure the length. And then it's about 80 inches long. And you can find those measurements on movein.ur.edu as well. Um, so the air conditioning system. Yes, here. so it's a little bit different. In Buchanan Drug, we have um, window air conditioning units for every room. We also have ceiling fans um, just to add a little extra cooling. Um, the ceiling fan is actually really nice. Yeah, I wish I had one. Yeah, I, I would take it in my house. Mm -hmm. um, so in these chairs, um, come with every room as well as the desks. Which they do a cool little thing where you can disconnect it and make it yes. two chairs. <laughs> Last time I tried that, I couldn't get it back together. I bet you can do it. Let's, I'll let's try it. Again. I'll try it. I had some people who texted me and they're like, yeah, I watched your tour, but it was at a part where you're trying to put a chair back together. <laughs> I can't remember how did we pull up on the right here. Uh -huh. There should be maybe underneath a little bit. There's a Got it. little there handle. Go. Yeah. There we go. See, you're getting better every time. <laughs> I figured it out. So yeah, you can take these chairs apart, um, and one of them will sit on the floor and rock back and forth. You can also have a little stool right here if you would like. It's pretty easy. Um, unlike I make it look to take it apart and put it back together. Where did you live? Your year, your I lived campus. at Hots okay. Hall, which is on the other side of campus. I also lived here two summers in a row, um, so I obviously like it if I keep coming back. Um, but the good thing about um, the community here is you will always um, get to meet new people, um, tell stories, have fun, play games. Um, we had a question about a window measurement, if we could get that. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll listen to top second. Do you want the blinds or like I'm sure they want from side curtain. to side for curtain purposes. Let me grab the camera and then you can help them. Okay. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm, now I'm, just... that. I'm gonna have to move the bed probably. Get over here. And Ryan, I got your question. We'll definitely answer your question about lofting the beds here in just a second. about 101 inches. Um, 101 inches. So from that end to this end. If you wanted to put a curtain uh, rod up, for example, because that's usually uh, what people are curious about, mm -hmm. they need to use a tension rod up there in that little corner right there. Yep, so that's the measurement we have? Yes. From so that corner to, this corner to that corner. To that corner. And it will have to go all the way across because there's no breaks in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, should we do up and down just so they sure. can, I know a lot of people get their curtains, sure. you know, fitted from the window. It is 52 inches from top to bottom. 52 inches from top to bottom. Okay. Very good. 
Um, let's see. So I want to go back to Ryan asked about lofting. And True. basically, we, we, we spoke a little bit about lofting before, right? right? Yes. Um, and the configurations, they can go up. We have, I'm going to pull it out, maybe one of those. If one of these. Yeah. yeah. So this is, if we were to put that on top, we can see how high you can go with it. This is what your lofting set will look like if you would like it to raise up like a bunk bed. Um, and you can basically, um, with these little notches, just move it up however high you would like. Um, I'll go ahead and measure it from top to bottom. So you might need help. You can hold, I'll hold that there. Sorry, I think it's too good. There we go. Oh. Give it or take it. 72 inches, just about. Um, we also had someone wondering if the mattresses are the same size because of like things on the website, and I believe that in this room they are. Yes. But can you request longer ones in? So 80 is the longest they go. Okay. Um, a lot of these are 80. I have to refer to movein.uart.edu. We definitely have the the accurate measurements. Right. Um, this may have been one of the halls where can you measure this one? This sure, may be yeah, one where there's a 75 and an 80 because of constraints with the door. That's the difference, is that it would be 75 versus 80. Can't quite get it. This one looks like it's a little bit shorter. So that might be the 75. Yes. So door side is gonna be smaller than uh, window side. I believe that's the case. Check movein.uart.edu. It has that information? That's just so this door can shut, That's right? so the door can shut, yeah. And as far as who gets what bed, we let roommates make that determination amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that answers your question. If not, follow up and we'll answer questions afterward. Alrighty, well that looks like all the questions we have for now. Cool. Um, well, thank you for joining us today for our 2018 UARC Home Facebook Live tour of Buchanan Drill Call. Please let us know if you have any questions. Um, once again, my name is Josiah and Courtney, thank you for helping <laughs> us film. So enjoy your day. Be sure to tune in at 2 p.m. We'll be touring Gladstone Ripley on Facebook as well. And Courtney has uh, volunteered to do some answering of questions for us even after the video. So feel free to follow up with additional questions and Courtney will be answering this for you. Yep. Thank you guys.